I'm gonna do the front bones, so the frontal bone, the parietals on each side, the occipitals all the way on the back. Mm, what else? Mm, parietal, I already said. This is the corona suture right here. Then the sagittal runs away on the bottom where they meet right here is the bregma. In adults, then little kids and babies is the frontal, the frontal fontanelle. And then in the back is the land and adults, and then in children is the and plus the something fontanelle. I think it's posterior. Okay, whatever. And then um, this is. The orbitals, and here we have the supraorbital foramens. We have the etmoid bones, which are the big ones. Then inside we have the lacrimals. This is the nasion, the romer, the maxilla, um, maxilla, mandible. Um, what else? Psychomatic. Is the cheek. Psychomatic. Nasion already said. Inferior nasal concha is in here. Mm. Okay, and that's okay. So we have supra overall, and then these are what are these? Infraorbitals, obviously. So supra orbital, infraorbitals. And then these are the mental foramens. What else? And then where the teeth come in is the alveol alveolar process. Okay, and then the supraorbitals have the artery and veins of the eyes. Okay, so right here in adults where it meets where sagittal or the, the sagittal and the coronal suture meets. It's bregma in adults and infants is called the anterior fontanelle. Then when they meet in the back right here, so the sagittal the sagittal and the and the lambor suture meet. It's called lambda in adults and then in infants it's called posterior fontanelle. So right here they meet. And then this is the parietal the frontal, the occipital bone, the Lambert suture, the sagittal suture, the frontal suture, the frontal suture. What else? Uh, coronal suture.